Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's yarn swatch time and this episode is all about the brand new yarn from Premier called the Sweet Roll Fruits. In this episode I'm going to show you several samples of many of the different colors they have available in this yarn and I use different techniques for some of the samples and I just wanted to show you how different depending on what you're crocheting of how this yarn can really change the look of a project. Now with some of these specific type yarns, sometimes I believe they're geared a little bit more for knitters than crocheters, but this video is dedicated to actual crochet samples. But I did want to mention, I watched a video from Crystal at Bag A Day, and she did a video with this yarn, and she knit hats out of a lot of the colors. I don't know if she used all the colors, but the knit hats were gorgeous and that's why I say sometimes these yarns I think might be geared more towards knitters so if you haven't seen Crystal's video you really need to watch that because that video shows you if you like to use those knitting machines and make hats how gorgeous this yarn really looks when you make up those knit hats but again this video is all about crochet samples so let's go ahead and talk about the yarn first and then we'll begin I'll show you all the samples tell you my thoughts and opinions on how the yarn looks made in a certain way and remember these are small samples it could look completely different the bigger you your project gets. So always keep that in mind. The second thing I want to remind everyone is on Premier's website, they also have some beautiful crocheted patterns made using this yarn. So you can go directly to Premier and I'll put their link in the description box. If you click that link and go to the Sweet Roll Fruits, once you see the yarn and scroll down, you're going to see patterns that's made out of this yarn. And that can give you a better idea of what this yarn looks like made in larger projects and you should always do that just to make sure that you're going to be happy with the yarn you purchase. So let's go ahead and get started about the yarn. I'm sure you already seen it. It's the Premier Sweet Roll Fruits. It comes in 174 yards, 160 meters, 3.5 ounces, and 100 gram skein. It is 100% acrylic. It's for medium weight yarn and it is machine wash warm and tumble dry so love it when we can find these wash and dryable yarns. Now again when I buy yarn I like to look and see that it has been tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. So the yarn was made in Turkey and this is color blueberry color 2056-11. Now when I purchased the yarn I only purchased one cake of each color because it gets very expensive to buy the yarn just to do samples so I only made small samples just so you can get a little bit of idea of what it may look like when you start crocheting with it. Now the feel of the yarn it feels like an acrylic. It's softer than Red Heart Super Saver, and I know a lot of people use that. Super Saver has been around a really long time, so I'm not sure if Super Saver got any softer than it did years ago, but this isn't too bad for 100% acrylic. It's not super soft like the Simply Soft or things like that, but it has a nice soft feel to it. So this is my first sample and this is just a double crocheted square where I just crocheted using a double crochet into a square formation. Round and round I went and it just gives a look of what I want to say, it just offsets wherever it wants to. And that's why when you're using some of these yarns, you may not be happy with them unless you have a certain project in mind that you know you want to make before you purchase your yarn. Because say you buy this yarn and you don't like the way it offsets. You don't like how it steps up and the colors change. So my suggestion is always look on the website. Some of those patterns are geared specifically for the yarn. And when you look at those patterns, you're going to know if you're going to like the design when you get it finished. They have a beautiful blueberry baby afghan on there that is really pretty. So it's kind of deceiving depending on which stitch pattern you're using of how the yarn's going to look. 
So say I'm doing a single crochet where I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. You're going to have a completely different look than the sample you're seeing here. So it's always best to maybe buy a cake, try to play around with it, find the perfect stitch pattern or find a stitch pattern on Premier's website that you like and then just purchase the yarn it tells you to make the project that you seem that you like. And that helps prevent spending money on a yarn that you might get frustrated with. So that's my first sample. Now I did forget to show you on the label, this is a knit sample. So on the label, if you knit, it's going to show you how that's going to look when you knit it up. Now again, this is a short sample. If you made an afghan, this may look completely different depending on how wide your project is, but just gives you a better idea of what that looks like. Now the second color I purchased, this is color Pink Grapefruit. This is color 2056-06. So let me show you my sample. Now this sample here, it's rolled up because it's a Tunisian knit stitch but I used a size 10 and a half K Tunisian hook, one of the long 14 inch hooks I just used. Now with Tunisian crochet, it likes to roll. And what I do is once I get my project made, I put a border on it. And a lot of times the border helps hold the top and bottom so it doesn't roll. But look how pretty this is made in the Tunisian knit stitch. And when you're looking at this sample, sorry I have to hold it down in my arms in the way, but it gives you an idea of what this looks like. And this is why I'm saying some yarns look so much better in a knit stitch. Now this is a crocheted knit stitch, but look how pretty you can see those pink and orange stripes. And then you can see that beautiful design with that cream and that pink sticking out. So if you were making a Tunisian knit stitch scarf, this is the pattern that you would get. And I believe you would probably be extremely happy with this pattern if you chose to do this stitch with this yarn. So that is my second sample. The next color I purchased was this beautiful yellow cream with a touch of brown. And excuse my skein of yarn because I grabbed my tote, I was walking over to start my video, and it was like something out of the blue just ripped the tote out of my hand. It went flying down my third floor studio steps down to the second floor everything went all over so sorry it looks so disarrayed but that's the kind of day i'm having but this beautiful colorway is banana this is color 2056-08 so here is my sample and i really thought this was pretty i wasn't sure if i'd like it with that brown with the cream and it really worked up beautiful. It's just one of those colorways where it's a little bit surprising. When you work it up, you start and you see it coming out and then you go to the light yellow, a little bit darker yellow, and it's just fun seeing how the pattern comes out. Now this stitch pattern is what I call a split single crochet or a knit single crochet. Instead of going under the top two loops here, you go right in between the two posts and stick your hook right in the center of those posts. And what it does is it splits the stitch and it makes it look like a knit stitch and it's crocheted. So isn't that pretty? And again, I just worked it in the round just like I was making a hat and this is how the pattern come out. So it gives you an idea again of how different projects are going to have a different look depending on what stitch pattern you use. So that is my third sample. The next colorway I purchased, and I don't have much of this left. Again, it fell down the steps, so it's kind of like a mess. But this color really surprised me. It really turned out beautiful. And there's not much left because I made a larger sample because I wanted you to see what it looked like if you're making an afghan or a wider project. So this is Gava. It's color number 2056-04. You can see on the side what that looks like with this darker pink, almost fuchsia pink with a light pink, that green. So that is what the yarn looks like. Now look at this beautiful sample. 
so here is my sample and I was just playing around with my stitches because I wanted to see what it looked like if I made a wider project. Now I zoomed out just so you could see a little bit more of my sample, but I was just playing around with a single crochet and then a double crochet V-stitch because I wanted to see the difference between working a long single crochet pattern. So on the bottom you're going to see it's a single crochet and pay attention to the colorways of how that's working out. You can see how the colors change on the longer section. And it's too long to actually get the whole thing in the video, but hopefully you can get an idea. And then I changed to the double crochet stitch up here. And again, it depends on how wide your project is. These colorways may look completely different depending on how narrow, how wide your project is. And this is pretty wide. But I noticed that when I did this side, I seen all the color was pulling on this side. And that's one thing I don't like when I crochet. So I would probably not use this stitch if I started crocheting and seeing that all the colorways were pulling on one particular spot. I like more to where your colors go and, you know, kind of like all are combined in a section. So anytime I see that, I dislike it. So that is where I would change the stitch pattern. And it's not the yarn, it's the stitches. It depends again on the project. It's a beautiful yarn, beautiful colors, but this is where you can see how this is a much wider project. So I'm just trying to go back and forth several times. I believe this is like over 40 inches. So this is probably like a nice size afghan. So I might change the size of the afghan because even if you change it by a few inches, it's still going to change that coloration and you may get the, the new color coming over here sooner. And that's where you really have to play around with the stitch patterns to see which stitch patterns are going to look best with the color combinations that you choose. So that again was GABA color 2056-04. The next colorway I purchased was the lime. This is color number 2056-07. And this is a beautiful lime green with yellow and white with green mixed. You can see that green mixed in with that white right there. And then when you look on the label, this is what it's going to look like if you knit maybe a scarf that width. And then here is my sample. Now with this sample, I did half in single crochet and half in double crochet. I wanted to see if there was a really big difference between the single crochet and the double crochet. Now I think with the single crochet it doesn't emphasize the color changes as much as it does with the double crochet because it's a little shorter stitch it just blends in a little nicer and when you're doing the double crochet you can see because it's a taller stitch it really does show when you change colors a little bit more predominantly but that is the sample. I love that lime green with the yellow and this is so pretty in between. And again, it all depends on your stitch patterns. Hopefully this video is showing you how different a lot of these stitch patterns look. So again, when you're looking at these samples, you have to remember, say this colorway here, you decided to make this project. Well, then you're going to have the beautiful white with the green specks here, and then you're going to have your yellow and then lime green. So that's how you have to picture the projects you're making. Would you make a scarf or would you prefer to make a hat? So again, that is the color lime, color 2056-07. The next colorway is this gorgeous pink, purple, it has a lavender, and then a light pink. This is color plum, color 2056-03. So let me show you the colorway on here. You can see all those gorgeous colors. So on my sample, I didn't see this colorway very good because when you do the Tunisian simple stitch, you're going across and then you're pulling the yarn back through underneath the stitches. But let me show you that sample. 
And for this sample, again, all Tunisian crochet likes to roll. But this one I found worked up very nice when you increase your hook size. Now this sample here, I'll open it up again. This was made using a size L11 or a larger eight millimeter hook. So it's a little bit bigger than a K, but it just worked up wonderful. It just had a nice drape to it. So let me open that up and you can see how that works up in the Tunisian simple stitch. And that's why I said you may lose part of that design because when you look here, you can see how when you're pulling that color through, it comes underneath the stitches from the first part of the row. So you may get that look of a weaved effect in certain areas, but I just thought it worked up wonderful with the larger size hook. So let me just look on the label. It recommends a size I-9 and with this larger hook was quite a few sizes larger than an I-9, but you can see how wonderful that worked up. And if you like quick and easy projects, bump that hook size up if you're doing a Tunisian knit stitch, and you'll see how pretty and how fast this really works up. So again, that sample was Plum, color number 2056-03. So I have two more colors to show you. This next color, I was really surprised. This was a fun one to work up. Look how that looks on the label. This one is color number 2056-02, Dragon Fruit. And I just thought this was so pretty when I was working with it. Let me show you the sample. So this is my sample. And when I first started doing my samples, I started making them half single crochet, half double crochet. So the last two will be the same stitch patterns. So let's take a look. This bottom half is single crochet, and then you see I changed to the double crochet. Now, in my personal opinion, and again, this is just my opinion as I crochet. So you have to remember everybody has a different opinion and everybody likes different styles of crochet. So please keep that in mind when you watch my reviews. Now, in my opinion, I still believe that single crochet looks a little bit nicer than the double crochet because of the height of a stitch. This is a shorter stitch and it blends in a little bit nicer when you're changing from the pink to the multicolor. And then up here you can see, you really see the difference when you have a higher stitch. Now, if this was a triple crochet, it would even be more of a higher stitch and really be noticeable. So I still believe that the shorter stitch is the nicer stitch for this. Now, the fun thing about these yarns is I would have never thought to put this color combination together. But it's fascinating because this white and black, this multicolor here, really makes the pink and then this yellow and green like multicolor really pop. It really makes it like just pop right off the scarf if you were making a scarf. And this is just a pretty look. It's just fascinating how people can set and come up with these yarn combinations for these new yarns. So again, that was colored dragon fruit, color 2056-02. So I have one more to show you. So the last color I have to show you is watermelon. Look at this yarn, red, two different color greens, a cream color, and look how that looks when it's worked up. It really does look like watermelon. So let me show you my sample. Let me tell you the color number. I forgot to do that. This is color number 2056-01 watermelon. Now this is a shorter sample. Now this is single crochet on the bottom and then you can see where I changed to the double crochet. Now on the bottom with the single crochet, I can see here is that little bit of white with, you can see just a touch of that red through there. It's almost like a red fuzzy through that white. You go to the dark green, light green, and then you come into the watermelon section where you have the deeper red here. I hope you can see it on screen. And then it turns to like an ever slightly different color here with those little black specks through that cause the seeds. 
But then when you go to the double crochet, you can see that it lost its definition of what it should look like. So with the higher stitches, it completely changed the look. And I did not like the double crochet section. I thought the single crochet still carried part of the look. So let me grab this label again. Now I turned the label upside down because mine seems to be on the lines of this one where you can see here's that white on the bottom. You're seeing the dark green, then the light green, and then it goes into the watermelon effect and then back into the white dark green. And then when I changed again to that double crochet, it completely lost the look of what it should look like. So that again is color number 2056-01 watermelon. Now I have to admit my favorite was the banana. I love the bright color yellow and I love that white with the brown through it. And that is what's fun about doing these yarn swatches. Some of the yarns that I didn't think I liked, I really liked. And some of the colorways that I thought I would really like, I just wasn't satisfied with the stitch pattern I used for some of the samples. So again, this is what yarn swatch is all about. Just showing you different ways of how a yarn can look depending on what you're making. So these are all the colorways that I showed you today in the video. I hope this video has been helpful. I'll leave a special link in the description box underneath the video. It'll take you directly to the Premier Sweet Roll Fruits web page where you can view all these colors on your own at your leisure and learn more about the yarns. And when you're on that website, make sure that you check out all the free patterns that Premier has for this yarn. And then that way, if you like a certain color you can get started crocheting right away when your yarn order comes by having that pattern printed out and ready to go thank you everybody i hope this video has got you inspired to try a new yarn and until next time happy crocheting everyone